Lava is in the streets of the Grindavik. How it started there goes back to early morning. We had this bang in the darkness by about 7.58. And this was the sign of eruption that we were waiting for a while. Last night I noticed there was a dip and then a rise. You could see it even from the space. Our satellites are picking this. And then a uh, coast guard of the Iceland actually could actually fly over there. Drones are not allowed. No drone image here. These are the all uh, my colleagues in the Coast Guard of Iceland who can fly over the height of the 60 meters. No drone can fly over that for health and safety reasons. We saw that it broke through the the actual uh, wall, defensive wall. So the fissure sliced it through. Then a second uh, fissure opened just north of the uh, Grindavik, northeast of it, and touched the first houses in the Grindavik area and they start to burn. As you will see here, the lava is building over itself a new path for itself. The surrounding area of it uh, solidifies, lava flies through it in the middle, then bursts in the headland and goes through. Here you see one of the houses started to burn. The next one now is burning and the streets in this area are now taken over by the lava as you can see we had two breaches of lava it, it, and on the uh, beyond the wall first one is sliced through by the first fissure the second fissure opened up the earth is split at the town itself and the lava flew now we have it in the street this is the situation that we had many years ago in 1970s with one of those volcanoes erupted in the Iceland. I have a video about this. I will play it for you here. How we saved that town in 1970s. As the world knows, uh, Grindavik, the port town in the Iceland, the Reckoness Peninsula, is in danger because of an imminent eruption may cut through the town and reach the sea. Uh, there are potential other ways also, but that depends where the eruption happens. We have the swarms of earthquake and a seal is formed under the Grindavik up to the Swartzengi power plant. We are trying to save the power plant, but not yet the town itself. Uh, this is not something new. Heimei Island in Iceland in 1973 was in the similar situation. We had a volcano eruption there. Uh, it was one of the iconic uh, um, times in uh, in the volcanology because for the first time uh, we tried and we successfully stopped the lava flow by pumping water onto it the lava was almost covering one-fifth of the town and we tried every second 400 liters of water was pumped and also directed by laying pipes onto the uh, town this is the iconic image of my time and is world famous probably before the water and after the water went there we pumped it over there it solidified the lava stopped it from moving and then we were able we were able to clear uh, the town the port and uh, now even after those all those years the town is back on its knees the fissure that erupted, you can see the black line coming from diagonally, and you can see in the aerial photograph of the area, uh, this region, how it affected the whole town. This is very similar to what we have in the, in the Grindavik today, and uh, it is quite possible that we successfully can stop this lava flow by uh, pumping water. We need very big, powerful pumps. I have videos about the situation where lava flows enters the sea, and what happens when such a thing happens? And also before that, with the lava boats uh, that can put life and property in danger. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is the flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it 
uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered, actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by this lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created, and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones, you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's an apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon. What is a lava boat? This is a phenomenon we see when we have a volcanism and the lava which is flowing is very viscous and it can flow easy and because uh, on the way it faces boulders and rocks from the either the native or previous eruptions of itself even its own solidified lava uh, it can keep them floating on top of it they're less dense than the lava uh, flowing underneath and they float on it and they can be carried by the flow of the lava. As you can see, it takes a while sometimes because the level of the or the slope of the uh, flow is not much, but then they enter a pool of lava and you can see that they float on it. This one was sinking almost. And as you can see here, it can be blocked uh, even in the lava channel when the sides of it are solidified and forming a kind of barrier like a groove inside of it the lava is yet hot and flowing it can carry pieces of its own wall uh, this is also again from the la palma as you can see huge that boulder is probably near 10 to 15 meters and uh, there are examples of it uh, in elsewhere this one was really interesting in that sense it just was uh, seen for a long period of time from the source almost the source to where it was actually deposited eventually they will be stopped you know they get a stock somewhere they stay there and as they are in contact with the lava they're all the time cooling it down solid in contact with the hot liquid they absorb the heat from it and gradually just the flow gets thicker and it cannot flow as it used to so this viscosity will increase and makes the lava to solidify in that sense it will form a kind of like island and any flow can flow around it this is from the la palma as you can see the eruption 2022 and this is flowing very uh, rapidly and uh, carrying the raft with it these are rafts or lava boat carried by the uh, flow of the lava as you can see here it's quite uh, yeah, quite deep actually, probably five, six meters deep. And the sides are solidified as you saw. So it can be carried a long distance if it is like that, the volume is too high.